Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm gonna be honest with you, Wicket. You're going to lose some teeth today, but you should feel better afterwards. Maybe not immediately, but eventually you'll feel better. Does this mean that you'll be feeding me wet food for a little while? Yes, I suppose it does. Oh, okay, well, maybe it's not so bad. Time for a mid-morning nap. Today's vlog number 700, Pixie. And this is what you want to do to celebrate? Don't worry, Pixie. Wicked will be back soon. Oh no. There's a huge geek convention happening in town this weekend and I forgot to buy tickets. Oops. Maybe I can just hang out on the sidewalks outside of the building. Brought you your lunch. <gasps> Ow! Hot. This side is crispy. That side is not. <laughs> I think you need milk. <clears throat> I need one of those L chairs. Are you mixing languages again? No. I mean, it's shaped like an L. You know? For when I watch you. Well, I'm just happy that you join me every day. Even though this chair hurts my back. That was good. I'm doing it to see if I can stick you up on the wall. Static electricity. Do you know what's funny is, now that I'm pregnant, sometimes I like, when someone is talking, I'm falling asleep. Like, I've caught myself nodding off. <laughs> Should we answer community questions before or after you're poked? Well, I'm about to leave in about 60 seconds. So probably after. Does that sound good? Okay, but hurry straight by. I think she already left. It's about four o'clock and we figured that by now Wicket would be finished with his procedure and no, he hasn't even started. Apparently there was a queue in front of him. He'll be next on the table. So hopefully everything will go well. Are we having anything for dinner, or is it okay for me to eat the Italian leftovers? Um, yeah, I think you can eat the leftovers, and then I was going to make popcorn, too. Ooh. What are you doing? I'm fixing the slat. You're going to hurt yourself. No, I'm not. The slat fell off, and I put it back on. Oh. I didn't need to call a handyman. I am a handyman. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Okay. How do I get out of here? Um. Great. You solved one problem, but created See Lisa's letter? No. It's handwritten. She likes Star Wars too. It's her and her daughter who watch our vlogs. We're a family affair. Those are mine. They're compression socks. All socks are compression socks. No, these are guaranteed compression. Why do they have polka dots? Because that's what you ordered? I thought I ordered solid black. Nope. They match my non-compression socks. Yes, but that's probably not why you ordered them. I ordered them because... 
That's a good question. <laughs> Why didn't I order them? On the reviews, it said these are great if you have low blood pressure and you can wear these if you're walking a lot. Mmm, because normal socks, they they don't really work in the same way. Now, do you put them on your feet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do they keep your feet warm? Well, I think I think the deal is it tightens around your legs. Oh. Yeah, those are nice and tight. Should I wear them under my pants or over? <laughs> wear them over. <laughs> Why? Because it looks dorky. No, it doesn't. It looks cute. Oh, I'm sorry. You're a girl. Anything looks cute. <laughs> if it was a guy, it would be dorky. <laughs> this isn't working for me. Does cooking with coconut oil make everything taste like coconuts? That's my question. Are you asking me or the internet? Okay, not me. Olive oil doesn't make things taste like olives, or like peanut oil doesn't make things taste like peanuts, you know? I'm just afraid the popcorn is going to turn out sweet. Well, then go with the peanut oil. But this is good for you. Okay. You have a lot of it. I'd say that's like a half of that. <laughs> I dare you to eat this whole thing. I will. Eventually. I don't want to make like a whole thing and then not like it, you know? Yeah. Wicket's been out of surgery for an hour now and we'll be picking him up in another hour. We're going to hover over the popcorn machine and <laughs> guess which oil Diana is going to use to make the popcorn. I just, I, with me being pregnant, there's like all of a sudden there's things I just can't smell or eat. If I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't mind the coconut oil. I would love it. What should I do? I don't have the answers. I don't want it to be like overpowering coconut, you know? Let's smell it. Good idea. Okay, you smell it first. Mm -mm. He who smelt it dealt it. Smells like coconut. You could put this on your face, you know. I probably wouldn't. Or your hair. Again, something I would likely not ever do. I could probably put this on my belly. You could. Then we can stick you in the popcorn machine. <laughs> it's good for your face. Baby, you just gotta stop experimenting with my body parts. No, it's not. Here, use bouillon. No. Okay. Oregano. It smells good. I kind of want to eat it. Oh, I'm scared the baby won't like it, and I don't feel like being sick. <laughs> I should just go with the safe bet. Right? There, I'm glad we have that settled. <clears throat> See, you do it too. Here, I'm making the decision for you. you don't what? Know what you're doing. Well, when has that ever stopped me before? <laughs> you know, Diana, we would have worked better with coconut oil. We gotta wait a few more minutes before we can walk into the hospital to pick up Wicket. I got through the sentence. All those W's. Didn't think I could do it. So, this is vlog 700. We thought we would answer some questions related to the vlog. Asked by you, potentially. Or the person behind you. Carlos Manuel Velez Gomez asks, are you going to teach the baby Spanish? Why are you looking at me? Oh, I thought you were... Oh, yes. See, we have talked about this, <laughs> and I do believe we agree that the, the baby can learn the two languages, maybe even more than that, Spanish and English. I think it is wise to be bilingual. The cool thing is, I think Diana's mom, who only speaks Spanish, is going to learn English at the same time. And I say the more languages, the better. C. Si. <laughs> yes? C. Si. Don Cyphers wants to know, obviously it was hard for Diana to get started. How did she finally overcome her shyness? 
Does she have any tricks for others starting out? Well, she overcome her shyness. Now they're calling her your highness. And the world screams, kiss me, son of God. I remember back in the day when you would point the camera at me and I would seriously, like, start shaking <coughs> out of, like, as if I was in speech class, you know, like that nervous shake. I didn't know what to say, I didn't want to say the wrong thing. I guess I got used to it. What kind of helped was pretending like I was talking to my brother. I would just pretend like I was making the video for my brother. And it's kind of funny because I told Chris, imagine if we were on a set and there were a thousand people watching us, it would be so much harder. But that's kind of how it is. Like a thousand people watch us probably. On yeah. A daily basis. On average, we get about a thousand people watching us. So imagine if there was a thousand people right now watching right now what we're doing. See, that's funny. You <laughs> think it would be more difficult. I would actually find it easier. Really? Yeah, I feed off that energy. Gabby Iguerra wants to know, has vlogging changed your relationship in positive ways and negative? Yes. Yes. See. Si. See. Si. It impacts our relationship. Some days are easier than others. Some hours are easier than others. But I think the vlog is about as much a part of the relationship as anything. And it was my idea. It was. Uh, but I thought it was just gonna be about you. Little did I know. It's different than most vlogs. Oh. But it's your style. Skyke wants to know, will Lil Perillo be a Sith or a Jedi? A Sith. I'm hoping for a Jedi. Matt. Dunn wants to know, have there been any moments where you thought about giving up vlogging? Yes. Yes. It's a labor of love at this point. It really is. Because it's something that works, it works well. I'm very proud of everything that we've done with this vlogging series. I don't intend on stopping anytime soon, but it's a lot of work and sometimes I put more work into it than I should, but I believe I'm creating a different show producing this video every day, and every one of them is special to me. Every one of them I pour my heart and soul into. Every one of them. Not just the recording of, but I mean the, the, the actual process of producing and having something at the end of the day. And I don't know if that's always met with an equal amount or a proportional amount of appreciation. Is this now? Is it now? Now? Whoa! Thanks again for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and watching even more of our videos right now.